In these examples, we're going to work through some more integral questions. And here we're going to deal with the integral of logarithmic functions and exponential functions. The first example here, we have the integral of 4 over x dx. Well, if we remove the 4, we get the integral of 1 over x dx. And that's just a rule that you have to remember. The integral of 1 over x is ln of x. So the answer is 4 ln of x plus c. In the second example, we have the integral of 1 over x ln x. Well, 1 over x dx is the derivative of ln x. So if we recognize that, we can say that u is the natural log of x. The derivative, then, is also in our question. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x dx. And so this part is our du. Here's u. And that gives us the integral of du over u, which we should know is ln of u plus a constant. Now, our question didn't have u. It had x. So we replace u, which we have up here, with ln of x plus c. This example, then, we have x to the power of 3 in the denominator, x to the power of 2 in the numerator. If we look at the derivative, we get 3x squared plus 3. Here we have x squared plus 1, which is simply a multiple of the derivative in the bottom. What does all that mean? It means we can say u is the denominator. That makes du 3x squared plus 3. And that's not exactly our numerator. Well, we should remember the dx. But it's almost like the numerator. How do we make it the numerator? We divide by 3. That leaves x squared plus 1 dx. And that is what we have in the numerator. So if we make the substitution now, the numerator is du. The 1 over 3 can come outside. There's the integral sign. The denominator is u. And we integrate then the integral of du over u is ln of u. Now we replace u with x cubed plus 3x plus 2. And don't forget to add the constant of integration. In the next examples then, we're going to look at integrals with e. In this case, we'll start by removing the constant. And e is that special function where the derivative of e is e, or e to the x is e to the x, which means if we take the integral, we keep the third. The integral of e to the x is e to the x. We add a constant, and that's the final answer. This example is a little bit different. We have the e to the x, but we also have an e to the x in an exponent. So often, if we have an exponent that's a function, we're going to do u substitution where u is the exponent. The derivative then is e to the x dx. So there's e to the x dx. That's our du. There's e to the x, that's u. And if we clean up all that mess, we get 9 to the power of u du. This integral is a rule you have to remember. The integral of 9 to the u is 9 to the u over the natural log of 9 plus a constant. And then we replace the u with e to the x, since that's the substitution that we made. And there's our final answer. This last example, then, we're going to say u is the exponent. 5x squared minus 3, because the derivative then is 10x dx. We don't have 10x dx, we have a third x dx, so we're going to divide by 10, 
keep the x dx. And then in the question, we're going to take the 1 over 3 outside. We're going to put the 1 over 10, that's with the du outside. We're left with the integral, well, the x and the dx give du. E, well, we took the exponent to be u, so that's just e to the u. So make sure you can follow that substitution. Gives us 1 over 30. The integral of e to the u is e to the u plus a constant. So when we put back in the value for u, it gives us 5x squared minus 3 as the exponent plus c.